Hey guys, we're back with another battle for week two. Uh, this is the Outsiders versus the No Good Guys. <clears throat> um, you know, if you guys have been watching the battles and you've been liking them so far, I hope you've been having a good time. Uh, this is a interesting battle for sure. Both people are 0 and 1 so far in the league. But we're still early on, so who knows how things will turn out for the rest. Ethan's bringing Breath of Room, Cloth, Gyarados, Toxapex, Fortress, and Camerot. He loves his Camerot. Oh. It looks like Mitch is bringing Xian Pao, Noivern, Slitherwing, Pyroar, Fluttermane, and Tinkaton. Revivroom is the lead, holding a muscle band. All right, here we go. The battle begins. Ah, oh, look at Ethan's little card. The duck. Tinkaton hits the battlefield. Let me turn this down. Versus Revivroom. Revivroom has no effect with his gunk shot, but his iron head will still do plenty of damage. Seems this is a combat oriented Revivroom. Shift gear. Plus two speed and plus one attack. Can I think of accuracy though? Oh, no. I, you may be thinking of the thing where it's like you become nimble or something. Uh, either way, Stealth Rocks have hit the field. Here comes an Iron Head from Rev of Room. One <laughs> shot stink <at> time. <laughs> so much damage. Uh, it seems that Tinkaton is built here to have a good time, not a long time. Here comes Pyroar. That shiny, I, I probably said this last time, that shiny looks better than I thought it did. Now, Revum has his option right in here to go for a gunk shot if he thinks he can uh, one-shot the Pyroar. Uh, that being said, it's a tough spot he's in. Because the flamethrower will definitely do tons of damage to Revum. Here comes Camerupt. Camerupt is in and he's bopping. He doesn't like the Stealth Rocks too much. And a Flamethrower comes through, but he eats it up pretty well. Ball's in his court. Thinking about making a double switch. Decides to go for a yawn. Dark Pulse. An unfortunate crit, but a yawn comes through on the Pyroar. Trying to see in case he was going to make a switch. Clicking Earth Power. Will he be able to survive another Dark Pulse? Is the question. Or if Mitch wants to let Pyroar go to sleep. Nope, he's going to choose not to let Pyroar go to sleep. He's going to switch in. Noivern, an excellent switch in. No earth power will threaten him. He sees Camrup's glasses. He knows he can read. <coughs> Does Ethan choose to try to preserve Camrup? He decides that he's going to leave it in and try to see if he can get as much utility as he can. Going for Tailwind, but the Stealth Rocks are going to come up from Ethan's side. Both sides of the field now have rocks. 
It's gonna be tough for Pyro and Noivern, but especially Xien Pao. Dragon Pulse! Camerupt unable to tank any more damage. He goes down. Scores 5-5. Five, five. <coughs> Gyarados enters the battlefield. A brilliant red. Not appreciating the rocks. An Intimidate drop on Neuburn. <coughs> Boom Burst! Tanked very well by Gyarados, and an Ice Fang will clean up Neuvern no problem. Neuvern drops. This Tailwind will be hard to outspeed. That Life Orb damage will mean Gyarados is not going to have too much more time in the sun here. In comes Fluttermane. Rocks digging in. Score is five to four. Ethan's favor. Waterfall will definitely do tons of damage. If not just straight up KO. Comes the waterfall. A draining kiss, just enough for Gyarados to survive. Waterfall. So much damage on the physical end. Fluttermane goes down. But will this be a self-destruct from Gyarados? It will be! The Life Orb taking Gyarados down with it. The score goes to 4-3. to three, And the Tailwind peters out. A barrage of physical damage on Ethan's side. Pyro comes back out onto the battlefield. Only to be met by Revavroom on the other side. <laughs> Rocks dig into Revavroom and Rocks dig into Pyro. The Terrastalization? Into a flying type? Goes for Gunk Shot. Here comes the Terra. The flying type Rev of Room is here. And he outspeeds with the gunk shot and decimates Pyroar. <laughs> There's been nothing but Okos. Like, actually, I think I think everything has been a one-hit KO. Xian Pao! Taking a round of damage from Stealth Rocks, but now has a type advantage against Revavroom. Ethan, without hesitation, clicks Iron Head. But the Ice Spinner is going to come through, and this is going to do super effective damage, and the Sword of Ruin makes Revavroom go down. This Terra shatters. I wonder if he just forgot about it, or if he just said, no, nah, I don't care, I want the queen switch into whatever. Fortress enters. This is a Ethan classic Pokemon. Sign so goes straight for a body press. Shen Pao retreats, and in comes Slitherwing. Big old bug. Also taking some rock damage, not as bad. His body press doesn't do too much, that bug type helps resist. How will Fortress deal with this? Ethan hovers explosion, but for a mere second. Many of Ethan's attackers are gone, except for Cloth.
Fortress comes back. Time for a switch into Toxapex, resisting both bug and fighting. A little bit of rock damage. A sunny day comes out. And the sunlight turns harsh. Protosynthesis activates, giving an attack boost to Slithering. A little leftovers recovery. And a little Black Sludge recovery for Toxapex. <coughs> Toxapex doesn't have that much actual HP, huh? Superpower! Resisted by Toxapex. Eats it up. And here comes a Toxic. Slitherwing is on the clock now. Nullifying the leftovers recovery. Toxic increasing by 1 16th of your max HP every turn. A U-turn from Slitherwing. Going right back. Xian Pao is going to hit the field, but is going to get greeted by a chilling water. Upon entry. And Stealth Rocks. Sword of Ruin activates. Chilling water and guaranteed attack drop. This is not looking good for Xian Pao. Toxpex definitely has the agency in this situation. Selecting Baneful Bunker. This will do. This will poison Xian Pao if he makes contact. Psychic Fangs. Knowing he has a move for Toxapex. However, he is indeed poisoned. Just normal poison, though. Not badly poisoned. It's enough to start whittling away at his HP. Making a switch back to Fortress. Fortress enters. Taking a little bit of chip from the Stealth Rocks. Xian Pao's Psychic Fangs is going to do nothing to Fortress. And some Rocky Helmet damage is going to come through. Our sunlight has faded. Poison damage. Xian Pao is not looking good here. Gyro Ball. Sacred Sword! Not doing enough. The Rocky Helmet will score Fortress a KO! Gyro Ball hitting no target. It's up to Slitherwing to get through this immense bulk. He enters toxic Stealth Rocked. Ethan selects Explosion, a superpower coming through, bringing Fortress to low, but the guaranteed attack and defense drop from superpower is going to leave Fortress with a wide position to get this explosion off that might just KO. A huge explosion. Slithering goes down. Fortress faints. Leaving this a 2-0 victory for the no good guys. An incredible battle. For sure. Good job to the no good guys. An excellent battle. Uh, stay tuned guys for more battles coming up. Uh, we had some technical difficulties this week. So one of the battle recordings got lost. But we are going to have some sort of recap of how it went. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good one.